After having started the Spanish Bible Institute and Theological Seminary and being the director and the business manager of this school for over 32 years, uh, we handed it off to our successors, Spaniards, and we've dedicated ourselves to giving conferences uh, on subjects that promote church growth, a lot of them taking place in graduates who are in the ministry right now. And uh, as we go, inevitably, the pastor will sit us down and then begin to share all of the things that he is dealing with. That then leads to counseling church boards on how to function better as a church. We call them church consultants here in the United States. In Spain, you couldn't put out a card that says Jim Fossil Consultant. They would say, who do you think you are? It's just, it's another culture. I've spent the last nine years between these conferences investing thousands of hours writing a book on hermeneutics, how to interpret the Word of God. It is written in Spanish. It has 519 pages to it because it's a broad subject and uh, it can get complicated at times. And all of this has come to fruition. Tyndale will be publishing the book in the meantime, sometime in 2017. In the meantime, they've given us the right to publish the book under their name and from January through June, we will be literally visiting every corner of Spain, visiting seminaries, pastors' conferences, denominational conferences, graduates of the school, uh, giving the book free of charge to some of these, grad to these graduates and some of the pastors we've worked very closely with in selling the book. Calvary has had a part in underwriting this book so that we can get it into the hands of as many present pastors as well as future Christian workers. And uh, we appreciate everything that Calvary has been doing for us, not just for the 49 years we've spent as missionaries in Spain, but even with projects like this right now. One of the biggest joys is to be able to go and visit our grads, visit pastors who we've worked with over the years and given conferences in their churches. Some of the churches having real difficult problems at the moment and we can meet with the church boards and council and council the wives and, and we as missionaries have a mission board behind us. These grads are working very much alone and in Spain we still have more or less 15 years to start a church so it takes an awful lot of encouragement to be able to get a church going and then have leaders in the church that would be working along with the grad and the pastors. So it's, it's an incredible joy to be an encouragement to them. After our tour in Spain from January through June, Tyndale has already said, can we use you people as conference speakers to be able to promote your hermeneutics book as well as others? So it looks like uh, we're gonna be spending after June time in Mexico, Central and South America, as well as some places here in the United States where we, where we have a large Latin American uh, community. It just seems that at this stage of our life, the Lord keeps throwing these doors open to us and you, it's, it's, it's fun to see what's happening. Personally, I'd like to thank Calvary. Calvary way back were the ones that took my parents as their first missionaries. And they went down to Argentina. Then when our we were getting ready to go to the field, they took us on 50 years ago. And now also took on our daughter and her husband who were work, working in Ireland. So we have our heart here in Calvary and we thank them very, very much. And now our grandkids are enjoying Plymouth Christian Academy and we just thank God for, for that too. So we have a lot of generations that we thank God for Calvary. <laughs>